Warm greetings. Welcome to Wednesdays for Water. We are a citizens collective aiming to walk and talk water. We try to meet every week and connect people with various water worries and wisdoms. And in the process, we wish to curate future water warriors. The way we talk about trivial things for hours, water too needs walking and talking to address the rising water distresses. The way Wednesdays for Water is conceptualized as a prime time show, uh, it wishes to make water everybody's business. The idea of the series was conceptualized in August 2020 and by the end of the year, the team and the structure was pretty much in shape. We started in August, April 2021 with Dr. Rajendra Singhji's inaugural speech. Uh, we wish to bring science and society together and therefore we try to bring in in every session either a policymaker or practitioner and a researcher or academician. We also think that future generation is crucial and therefore they have presence in each session. We are going stronger with every week now with session on either quiz, couple of weeks of hard talks and a week of soft session of art and music. There is a simple structure for each session of quiz, hard session and soft session which are moderated by the core team member. Here is a glimpse of what we call as hard sessions and soft sessions. Uh, uh, very good evening uh, to everybody who, um, who are present here on our next, uh, today's session for Wednesdays for Water. And we are very pleased to uh, have the soft session, which is the third week of uh, every month when we invite artists to uh, talk about anything related to water. Uh, this uh, week we are talking about Hey Nade Sarite, and it is, it is going to be a live performance, uh, basically a ballet description, depiction of stories of various rivers flowing across India. Uh, it's not the first time that we are talking about uh, water and music as uh, um, having a very strong relationship. Time and again, we have seen uh, that art has been used to express all kinds of ecosystems, including water and river and lakes and mountains and forests. But we are very privileged today uh, to really have a live performance in the digital mode, which we are going to see. And we have uh, artists uh, Sonia Parture and Manjushri Pati. And uh, just to confirm officially that they are around and I see them here. So uh, very good evening and thank you for accepting uh, the invitation to uh, come with a uh, little bit more how ecosystems uh, are interlinked with uh, any kind of art form. Today we are discussing one art form. So a uh, very warm welcome to all, uh, to both of you and your troupe. And uh, let me just go through a short introduction of uh, both of you. And then I will um, offer the floor to you guys to take it further, okay? So um, we at Wednesdays for Water, we are very, very privileged to have Mrs. Sonia Parture, who is a cl celebrated classical dancer and a choreographer. Um, she has received um, her Kathak training for, from many of gurus uh, and it's, it will be really um, nice to name few of them. So Dr. Manjari Deo, um, uh, she has been disciple of Nataraj Gopi Krishna and Dr. Sitara Devi and of course Padmasri Pandit Suresh Kalwankar. Sonia has her own dance institution which is called Charayu Nitya Kala Mandir since 1995. So uh, you can see that she's already passionately working on this, uh, you know, art form for many years. So I'm sure um, she, uh, she can even talk about the um, relationship of ecosystem and, uh, you know, art forms after uh, the performance. So we are very much uh, up for kind of a conversation with uh, all the artists group about uh, this relationship because that's the purpose of Wednesdays for Water. So um, her institute has, um, is training more than 300 students who are uh, basically uh, learning the nuances of Kathak. So uh, Sonia has performed at various prestigious events. Uh, and I also uh, see that she's uh, a TED speaker, which is um, already a big thing. And including uh, performance in parliament and, and uh, things like you know, Shanta Durga, Shah, uh, Mahotsai, Vasant Mahotsai, so all kinds of ceremonies. 
so some uh, art forms have been associated with as i mentioned uh, with uh, celebrations and ecosystems and things like that and uh, the uh, sonia has already um, you know experienced and exploited these kind of op opportunities to reach out to people and tell the important of it um, sonia is also um, are doing choreography and so we, because she also has an institution and uh, she uh, basically uh, performs stupendous dance dramas and kathak ballets so we are very excited apart from it she is also talking about you know uh, performing chess krishna geet ramayan and today we are going to see uh, the hey nade sarike which I, she has already performed um she has also acted in films theaters and shows um i think an important aspect why uh, we are privileged to have her here is that she has leveraged her art to contribute towards various social ecological issues uh, importantly performing at uh, old age homes or uh, in jail to intellectually challenge children and now uh, she is reaching out to people like us who are very water freaks you can say or water enthusiasts so uh, welcome sonia and we are very much uh, happy and uh, you know very delighted to have you here so our next um, lead um, uh, performer as well as speaker i will say because we are looking forward to having a con conversation uh, is manjushri patil in fact manjushri and uh, i are also in uh, linked with uh, our fellowships in uh, the united states uh, So Manjushri is a Hindustani classical vocalist for over four decades, and um, and she started her uh, career I think at from the age of three. If uh, if I learn her, you know, lifespan very briefly, uh, and she began learning the art um, from her mother, Dr. Shobha Gurjar. Um, she is also blessed like Sonia uh, with many gurus. Uh, to name a few, Dr. Alka Dev, ah, Marin, uh, uh, and uh, Padma Bhushan, Shrimati Shobha Gurtu. So, um, Manjushri is a Sangeet Visharat. Uh, on the professional front, she also has a very large span of her life de uh, dedicated not only to uh, the music but also in the. Hey, I'm going to unmute it. Then I'm going to. May I request uh, the participants to please mute themselves uh, so that the session can run smoothly? Okay, maybe Manisha and Megha can check out and request them personally. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so she also, like Sonia, she also has a large um, body of work uh, in her uh, kitty. I must say, spanning from not only performing arts but hey, also. Uh, she is founder director of Atman Academy, uh, which is um, a, a school for inclusive, um, uh, you know, inclusive school for children with diverse learning needs. I think that's a very important uh, social contribution which Manjushri is making apart from her art work. Um, and also a TED speaker, um, uh, as we heard, uh, listened, like Sonia is also a TED speaker. And um, a recipient of uh, many awards and fellowships, and I learned that she's also now going to um, go to U.S. again as a Fulbright Scholar. So, uh, congratulations for that as well. And she, um, her school has also received uh, uh, acknowledgments from various um, organizations and initiatives, including the UN Human Rights Office. So I'm just giving a brief about these two girls. I, I'm just saying them girls uh, because I'm umr uh, hai, you know. So um, I could just do justice by saying few lines of them, but I'm sure uh, there is much more body of work which can be reached out. But but most importantly, the purpose of having both of them today is to sensitize our group. about uh, celebrating loving the ecology and today we are talking about river and uh, who better than artists who can tell us how uh, how we are part of river i mean i often say to people that i am river i am water so something like this uh, we can we can just shout people like we can just shout about it but they will perform it artistically and try to convince uh, most of us because i think as speakers and um, activists like me if i say it sounds very you know it, it is not that soft and touching to people but i'm sure these girls are going to touch our heart 
and convince us that I am the river and I am the water. So a uh, very warm welcome to both of you and floor you. is yours and we look forward to learning from you. So we look forward to your performance and then we will take Q&A from the audience and I have my bunch of questions for you. Okay, wow. so over to you. <laughs> we look forward to that. Okay. Hello, hello, namaskar. Welcome all of you. And uh, first, thank you, Manasi, for uh, introducing us. Um, me, Sonia Parchure, and Manjushri Patil. We all are, we want to thank all of you for uh, coming for this program. And uh, uh, first of all, I thank Manasi Balabhargava for inviting us on this platform, Wednesdays for Water. Manasi, when I man Manjushri told me about this program, I was really excited because uh, I felt that uh, language is different, but the expression is same. Um, I always wanted to do a program on the subject of water. Um, and I wanted to do it in classical dance form. I tell you why classical dance. Uh, Pavitra Ganga, जो शिव शंकर के जटा में समाई है और वो गंगा हमारी पवित्र नदी और उसी शंकर का जो नटराज रूप है उन्हीं नटराज देव ने हमें दिया है भारतीय शास्त्रीय संगीत तो उस संगीत में है गायन वादन तथा नृत्य बहुत ही पवित्र ऐसा अपना संगीत उसी पवित्र भाषा में मैं इस नदी के विषय को बतलाना चाहती थी and uh, I thought of asking Manjushri because I feel that Manjushri's art, she's very talented, uh, devoted vocal artist. And I feel that her art is as holy as Ganga. I tell you why. Because she has not commercialized it till date. Isn't it adorable? And uh, today, with so, um, with all of you, I want to ask Manjushri, why did she accept this? Because my idea was clear. Why did she accept this project? Please tell us, Manjushri. My goodness. Thank you, Sonia. Thank you so much. That's uh, a big mantle to hold on to. Uh, thank you, and I'm humbled. Uh, you know, I've been doing music right from the age of three, and I've been parallelly pursuing a career in, in education. But um, one of my deepest joys has been to sing with Kathak. And when Sonia, who is, by the way, for many of you who may be around the country, you will still get to know her, but she's a big celebrity in, in, in Maharashtra. And, uh, and, and there are reasons why. She's simply mind-blowing in her art form and in her Kathak and her choreography. So when she said, and she approached me, I said, Neki or Pooch Pooch, of course, yes. it's my dream to always dance, uh, sing with Kathak. And when she approached me particularly with this, uh, theme. I said, what better? I mean, for four decades and I'm learning music, if I can actually leverage this music, I can use this music and marry it with a cause, can it yeah. be any better? So that's the reason why we put this whole thing together and I'm enjoying it each day. Uh-huh. 
The wow. script of <laughs> I'm in tears, you know. <laughs> this is just the beginning. <laughs> yes. Uh, the script of this ballet is written by one of my friends, Sampada Kulkarni Zugrekar, Sampada Zugrekar Kulkarni, and uh, the story is narrated by great uh, actor director Renuka Shahani. When I thought about this project, if I, if I have to do any creative project, I have to study. I mean, anybody has to study. So I'll, I'll go deep down in, in, in the subject. And uh, I'll read. I want to read. I want to know more and more about subject. Um, I was surfing. When I was surfing, I uh, came across some interviews. And I saw this interview of uh, Mrs. Parinita Dandekar, very dynamic personality. And she was talking passionately about river. And I said, I thought, I have to call this lady. And uh, I called her. Uh, and I told her that you are amazing and you're, the work you're doing is great. And I want to know more about rivers, the problem about rivers. I want to do one ballet. Uh, with classical dance form. She was thrilled. She was thrilled. She said, wow, this subject. And I always feel, when, whenever I see any river, I always feel ki there is, there is, uh, it is related to classical music. And you are offering me this. So I said, please tell me some, some stories, something about, and she told me amazing stories, amazing facts. She um, explored uh, so many angles. And uh, that helped me a lot. We know that human's heart is uh, uh, highly receptive of any art form. So any art form is a great tool for transformation. So our next presentation is about Yamuna. For generations, we have always known that, and it's a fact, that humans are dependent on water bodies and rivers for survival. But you know what? The reverse is equally true. Every river is completely dependent on the humankind, on the people around her banks, for her existence and also for her survival. This was the same story with Yamuna. She was being abused by Kalia. Kalia was really giving her a very, very hard time. Her colors were all changing because of Kalia's presence. And so what did she do? She went and sought help from none other than Lord Krishna. Jago Brijaraja Kumara. Jago Brijaraj Kumar 
And this episode wow. and this episode makes Yamuna's love for Lord Krishna even deeper. So deep that every time he comes to her, she imagines consummate love and consummate passion with Lord Krishna. She believes very strongly that her color is the color of Lord Krishna. And that's when she begins to sing the love song, Me Radhika, Me Premika. Tana Shama, Ghana Shama, everything is sham for her. She is deeply in love with Lord Krishna.
Wow. Dance is essentially a form of telling a story. Every river has a story to tell. And every story has a lesson. It has a lesson to teach us. But we can only learn that lesson if we are listening to the story. Are we listening? No. Ek nad tha. Jaise nadi hoti hai, sukumar, komal, krodit bhi hoti hai, phir bhi wo nadi hi hoti hai. पर नद तो रूप से गुण से नदी से भी शक्तिमान ऐसा ये नद सुस्वरूप तेजस्वी नद था शोण नर्मदा मैकाल पर्वत की पुत्री उसका विवाह तय हुआ था इस तेजस्वी शोण से उस सुकुमारी को जानना था शोण का रूप स्वरूप पर हाय दैया विवाह के पहले ही इसे मिलना ना बाबा ना फिर नर्मदा ने अपनी सहेली जोहिल्ला से बिनती की इस काम के लिए नाना कहती जोहिल्ला को भेज दिया गया शोण के आवर्तन में जाते जाते भी वो मना कर रही थी नर्मदा को पर कर्तव्य से बंधी जोहिल्ला शोण की ओर मुड़ गई और सखी के सौगंध में बंधी जोहिल्ला एक ही कटाक्ष में बंधी हो गई शोण के अस्तित्व में देखकर अपना रुख मोड़ लिया शोन की ओर और क्या देखा शोन और जोहिल्ला के प्रवाह की हो रही है लपट झपट ना दे रे दे रे तदानी तन दे रे ना दे रे दे रे तदानी तन 
ದೇರೆ ನಾ ದೇರೆ ದೇರೆ ತದಾನಿ ತದ್ರೆ ದಾನಿ ತನ ಉದ ತನ ತದಾನಿ ತದ್ರೆ ದಾನಿ ಎದೆಯಂ ತದಾನಿ ತನ ದೇರೆ ನಾ ದೇರೆ ದೇರೆ ತದಾನಿ ತನ ದೇರೆ ನಾ ದೇರೆ ದೇರೆ ತದಾನಿ ನರ್ಮದಾ ಕ್ರೋಧಿತ ಹೋ ಗೈ महसूस हुआ कि नर्मदा के तट पर जो भी मंदिर हैं, वह एक साथ घंटा नाद कर रहे हैं और नर्मदा के मन के रौद्र रस को आवाहन कर रहे हैं नर्मदा ने क्रोधित और बहुत ही दुखी होकर अपना रुख मोड़ लिया और पश्चिम की ओर निकल पड़ी प्रतिज्ञा करके कि वो कभी भी विवाह नहीं करेंगी रहेंगी कुबारी ತದಸ್ತು ಜೀವ ಜಂತು ಜಂತು ಭೋಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಾಯಕ ವಿರಂಚಿ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಶಂಕರ ಸ್ವಕೀಯ ಧಾಮ this is just a very very small glimpse of this beautiful ballet that we've had so much of learning as we've gone through the processes of creating it this is just a glimpse the real grandeur is what you can get to see if we are able to come to your towns to your cities to be able to perform this because in all honesty this is a cause we want to really really use this entire program to be able to make an impact on the hearts of the people who watch it and catapult them into action so we look forward to be invited to your cities and towns so that we can come and do this entire ballet Thank you so much. Um, for our last concluding performance, before that, I would uh, like to thank again all of you on behalf of, especially Manasi, on behalf of my organization, Sharayin Rutya Kala Mandir, and my all students. Itne dino ke baad, itne, matla, break ke baad, everybody, was so excited to perform 
and that to hey nade sarite and this all uh, became possible just because of you so thank you very much uh our our boys really worked hard um technical team so i want to uh, thank them also vijayt mule rugved bendre aditya kadam sanket azrekar abhishek salvi uh ashish and uh, sanket azrekar sanket mukadam all these boys are really working hard here and uh, they tried really their best to show the whole program live and uh, i want to say some words for this performance being performing artist me and manjushri live performance is our life and uh, we both together are here and we don't want to miss this opportunity and we, we want you to witness alchemy of performing art bandha kar mur maya sarkha thank you thank you so much apach karun chevaycha i am just uh, ah, 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 ah. presenting a bhairavi ha chali chali छोड़ के गोरी 
जावत है चली दिल धम धम ऐसे धड़कत है दिल धम धम ऐसे धड़कत है रह रह के दिया जो रह रह के दिया जो धार कत है मन तरपत है मिलने को मन तरपत है मिलने मन को आवत है चली पी के नगर चली Yes, if we could give them standing ovation to all the artists here and Sonia and my dear Manjushri. I think I really don't have words to bring you back here. I'm just in, just full of tears, to be honest. Every time we perform, every time we rehearse, we're in tears. Because it's water that we are talking about. Yes, and it and is. It's, it's you people also. You brought life to all of us. I think in these last one and a half years, uh, this uh, moments. I think for me personally, it will be. I think forever living in my heart. Importantly, I always believed that water has a connecting capacity, and I knew that art can give that connection. As scientists, we do a lot of effort, but we really don't have probably that magic wand to reach out to people's heart, you know. And I think that's where uh, the third week of Wednesdays for Water is meant for people like you who can not only enlighten us, but also enlighten the society and connect with this important uh, matter, which is water, and we are talking about it today. So it, it was very well thought of that we will have these uh, sessions. But today, uh, you really made my dream come true. That water has a connecting capacity, and we all are connected with it, not only inside our body, but with each other. 
and music art helps to realize that connection it's not that we are not connected we are connected but who is there to make us realize that because life is about realization and very true very i i am really speechless i had so many questions to ask you but i think i will take 2 3 minutes myself to collect and think what i want to talk to you but until that time i cannot really stop thanking both of you but maybe uh, people are really excited here you can see the chat box full uh, but as uh, the session goes i will open the session for people to ask questions i will hold my heart and emotions and i will ask the questions at the end i don't have questions anymore because i really want to think what i saw and heard and manjushri you just you just went inside me you know you just got inside me now yeah. i mean i just can't believe that um, art can do so much of impact and we all have been in this situation for some time and i think that also makes it very much connected to you guys and also thanks to all the performance all the artists who were here and um, and you beautifully brought them to uh, at the end to show all of you together so we have tried to capture some pictures i will open the floor to everyone uh, who would like to interact with uh, sonia manjushri or anyone out there because i'm sure uh, friends and family from the other uh, junior artists are also around so floor is open for anyone please raise your hand and i will help you reach our speakers today and you can also drop your uh, messages in the chat box uh, if that is possible but we will allow you to interact directly with the artist i think that's very much deserved and required and the recording will be available in our website soon so uh, you will be able to uh, reach out and uh, take it further and connect people with emotions and water and uh, so our um rasika our friend here uh, sorry uh, rasika is here she is uh, saying that there are some questions that have been asked so rasika would you like to ask us what those questions yes please ask yes yes thank you so yes. much for that question and uh, i was about to tell you that and i think i'm misstelling you uh, i will of course ask sonia to tell the details of it but i definitely want to tell all of you that this is really a masterpiece ballet which is best seen in person uh, there are almost uh, 16 of more stories that uh, uh, rivers that have been featured in this entire ballet which goes on for a little over 90 minutes so it is something that is in person that you need to see so i think sonia will give you some more information about that i'll talk in hindi so that is comfortable yes. yeah. i think uh is vishay ko jab maine karna chaha to pehle to normally kya ho sakta hai ki jo uska geographical situation hai every uh, river ka to wahan ki kuch kahaniyan hai kuch myth hai तो उससे लेकर uh, मैं एक बिकॉज कथक मैं आई वॉन्ट टू प्रेजेंट इन कथक तो कथक इस कथ न कहे सो कथक कहावे देर हैज टू बी सम स्टोरी बिहाइंड इट तो लोग एकदम से कनेक्ट हो जाते हैं तो वहाँ की जो मिथ है जहाँ के जहाँ पे कोई स्टोरीज है वो तो है पर मुझे ऐसा लगा कि हर नदी की एक कहानी होनी चाहिए उसका कुछ कहना है नेचुरली उसका कुछ इंस्टिंक्ट है उसका उसका एक स्वभाव है उसका एक कैरेक्टर है और उस तरीके से वो बह रही है और वो सालों से बह रही है हमारी हम, हमारे मतलब इस भूमि में तो शुरुआत हुई सरस्वती नदी से और ऐसा क्या कहा जाता है कि वो सरद नदी लुप्त हो गई अभी वो नहीं है पर इसी बात को पकड़ के मैंने उसको शुरू किया कि वो नदी ही कह रही है कथा एक नदी ही नदियों की कथा बता रही है और वो कह रही है कि मैं लुप्त नहीं हुई हूँ आई एम देर आई एम स्टिल देर आई एम इन यमुना आई एम इन कावेरी आई एम इन नर्मदा आई एम इन हर नदी में मैं मौजूद हूँ और मेरी कहानी है और आप उसे सुनो मेरी व्यथा सुनो मेरा आनंद सुनो मेरी मेरी बातें सुनो मेरे लोगों की कहानी सुनो और वो मैं बताना चाहती थी एंड द 
इतनी सारी नदियाँ और हर एक का स्वभाव अगर डिफरेंट है और हाथ में तो डांस में तो नदी कहेंगे तो ये होगा फिर ये होगा फिर ये होगा तो हाथ की मुद्राएं तो मतलब वहीं के वहीं रहने वाली है लेकिन उसमें विथ दैट शरीर बोली से मुझे हर एक नदी को डिफरेंट बताना था और वो मेरे लिए एक मुझे मतलब ऐसे लगा कि ये चैलेंजिंग है एंड आई हैव डू दिस इन दिस लैंग्वेज सो इसी तरीके से मैंने वहाँ से ऊपर से मतलब एक ग्राफ मैंने डिजाइन किया और मैंने वो सारी नदियाँ कवर की कर, करने की कोशिश की मतलब। नहीं नहीं बहुत अच्छी कोशिश नहीं है ये आ, बहुत ही उम्दा कोशिश है और मैं मैं याद करना चाहती हूँ इस बात को कि जब हम इसके बारे में डिस्कशंस कर रहे थे मैं तो बहुत सीख रही थी सोनिया से पर द लॉन्ग एंड शॉर्ट ऑफ दिस एंटायर बैले एंड वी वर प्री मच अ वुमेंस टीम यू नो वर्किंग ऑन दिस वॉज दैट इट्स अ क्राई ऑफ अ वुमन एवरी नदी मोस्टली नदी तो फीमेल होती है इट्स अ क्राई ऑफ अ वुमन लेट मी फ्लो लेट मी बी give me the freedom let me start my journey and end it in my trajectory you know everybody is holding her back damning her you know abusing her so these were thoughts that also came up during our discussions of the preparation of this ballet but it was a brilliant learning journey thank you for this question i'm so glad you asked it because we had kind of slipped uh, mentioning it yeah thank you so much एंड यू राइटली मैंशन डेट नदी नारी है तो हम लोग भी बोलते हैं जब कॉमन जगह प्लेटफॉर्म्स में होते हैं कि जहाँ जिस समाज में नीर और नारी की इज्जत होना बहुत जरूरी है नीर और नारी की इज्जत जिस समाज में नहीं होगा उस समाज का उद्धार नहीं हो सकता और भारत में हम अभी वो फेस करते हैं कई नदियों में और आपने बिल्कुल सही कहा हर नदी की एक कहानी है और हर कहानी में एक लेसन छुपा हुआ है और आ, मैं तो अभी ऑलरेडी ब्लेस्ड फील कर रही हूँ मैं पिछले सात दिन से महानदी के तट पे थी आज मैं ब्रह्मपुत्र के तट पे हूँ करेक्ट करेक्ट तो मैंने नद को भी इसमें समा लिया है yes. क्योंकि आ, जो कहानियाँ नदियों की तो होती है हाँ. लेकिन नद के बारे में सुना और yes. पढ़ा अरे और ब्रह्मपुत्र का रूप ब्रह्मपुत्र का रूप और हर नदी को लेके इसको छूता है चला जाता है उसके साथ मिलन करता है इसके साथ मिलन करता है और जिससे छोड़ जाता है वो नदी देखती रहती है कि आप कब आओगे मेरे साथ कृष्ण का रूप है वो कृष्ण का अपने आप में ही कैरेक्टर है चेंजिंग द स्टोरी एंड चेंजिंग द जोग्राफी एंड चेंजिंग सबको मतलब हिला दे रहा दे रहा है वो और हम उसको लेके साइंस में जाते हैं लैंड पढ़ते हैं पीपल पढ़ते हैं एग्रीकल्चर पढ़ते हैं फॉरेस्ट पढ़ते हैं काजीरंगा नेशनल फॉरेस्ट बोलिए आप लैंड चेंजेस बोलिए मजूली बोलिए ये जो ब्रह्मपुत्र से ही रिलेटेड बोल रही हूँ मैं बट वी हैव मोर क्वेश्चंस आई थिंक वंदना खेडकर को हम ले लेते हैं उनका हाथ रेज है वंदना जी हाय वंदना हाय वंदना आपको अनम्यूट करना पड़ेगा अपने आप को एंड कैन यू हियर मी यस वी कैन and sonia ji i have just started learning music from manjushri okay a, i've been her admirer for 20 plus years and what i i, I want to request you uh, just like manju is unconventional but she is very passionate about her art form and the way she teaches us uh, i find you also to be like that from what i've seen of your performances um, why don't you come to thane to teach us navarasa with older women That is I've been coming Thane for last 26 years. Vandana, कहाँ हो आप? You have a class in Thane? Yes, I've started my classes in Thane, and I have everything I'll, in Thane only. I'm sorry, I didn't know about this because in Thane I only know a few classes which are That there. That means I have to work But, hard yeah. to reach people. <laughs> I have to. You, no, I also have to teach. Don't worry. I feel never. I feel Navarasa with older women who uh, you know who have been who want a second chance at dancing. Maybe something uh, if if, you, if it appeals to you, maybe you should conceive a ballet on that. Definitely. Wonderful, wonderful. मुझे ऐसा लगता है sorry please go ahead Sonia. मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि जिसको जिसको सीखना है वो जो भाव मन में आता है सीखने का वही पहला ही chance होता है. It is, it is, कभी वो सेकेंड चांस नहीं रहता अगर आपको वो मन में आया है तो वही है वही शुरुआत है तो वो पहला ही चांस है एंड यू हैव टू ग्रैब इट एंड जस्ट स्टार्ट लर्निंग थैंक यू 
uh, due to some uh, from i have learned bharatnatyam from raja rajeshwari for 14 years after which wow. there's been a big gap but i find that when now when i want to learn dance let me be frank uh, dance teachers are not ready to teach older women they don't want to give them a chance to ek bar nach ke dekho ki bhai unko ho jam raha hai ki nahi jam raha hai so that is that is something practically which i faced and uh, so that i think we should i should vandana i think we should meet something. in person vandana i think we should meet in person and uh, have conversations around this yeah. let's continue with our topic of water and rivers sure sure yeah. thank you vandana yeah. thank you uh, i think uh, very uh, well put if you can reach out to more and we had already mentioned so uh, we have ambassadors more than 100 today who attended and we are definitely going to make it happened that we reach out to more people and personally uh, the wellness days for water group will be interested that you not only reach out to them you sensitize and shake them our rivers are crying same as our women are crying in this country so need or nari ki izzat bahut zaruri hai so hum us baat ke sath prachi ninkar ko bulate hain unke sawal ke liye prachi ji aap sawal puchiye please uh good evening to both of you uh working in the environmental field for past 15 years i have never seen this perspective of uh, rivers and uh, the reason i want to ask is why this has not not reached to people from scientists to like students of environmental science because uh, whenever mm-hmm. we have uh, being passed out from some premium institutes always the scientific jargon cannot reach the common man so what is the hassle that and i have never seen related rivers like this always i have related with biological oxygen demand or chemical oxygen today <laughs> just now just now very she, well put when she just now explained brahmaputra uh, i am totally in awe and definitely we have plans and want to see it live i want to know the hassle why it is not reaching people Uh, I'm going to start with quick one, and then I'm going to again leave it to Ms. Sonia because I know she'll give a far deeper understanding. But one thing, let me tell you, uh, this pro, this ballet premiered in 2019 in Jan, and uh, after that, um, to be honest, yes, Prachi, it's been a hassle because it's a very big troupe. It's a very, very big group. We would love to travel to different towns and cities and actually make this available to a lot many people. But yes, I don't need to say it. It all boils down to sponsorships and being able to take all of us there. So that is one big hassle that really comes in the way. And of course, then after that, everything always is like the blame it on Rio kind of thing. Blame it on COVID. 2020 comes COVID. After that, it's just been in the wraps. But we've we've. come out now and we would like to i mean we really really would like to make an appeal to all of you to please call us to your cities and make this available to bigger audiences definitely seeing today's small snippet and with all the constraints so i can imagine what it can uh, relate to and especially uh, my small bit would be i'll try to connect as many people especially from the scientific world that is mujhe aisa lagta hai abhi covid वैक्सीन आ गया तो उसके पीछे जिन्होंने काम किया होगा वो काम करने वाले बुद्धिमान लोग एक दूसरे में जो चर्चा करते हैं जो बातें करते हैं वो तो कॉमन पीपल के आ, सामने नहीं आती आता है वैक्सीन वो जिंदगियां बचाता है तो तो इसीलिए वो ले, ले, मतलब ऑल एवरीबडी इज गोइंग टू टेक दैट एंड सेव एवरीबडीज लाइफ उसी तरीके से any any classical form or any classical jo baat rehti hai wo agar isiliye use katha mein main kehna chahti hu normally kya uh, thought process hai logon ki ki classical dance se mujhe samajhta nahi main i can't understand classical dance i can't watch classical dance for 2 uh, hours par jo cheez 5000 saalon se zinda hai aur aage bhi 5000 saal zinda rehne wali hai to wo achhi hi hai इट्स जस्ट दैट वो लोगों के सामने हम किस तरीके से लाते हैं तो इसीलिए मैंने इसको कथा में बांध के जो सोशल कॉज भी है हमारे दिल के करीब है ये सब्जेक्ट और इसे क्लासिकल डांस एंड क्लासिकल म्यूजिक से बांध कर मैं प्रेजेंट कर रही हूँ कथा इसलिए है कि वो मैं 
मतलब प्ले मैन के सामने उसे लगना चाहिए कि मेरा है ये मेरा बैल है ये स्टोरी मेरी है आई वॉन्ट टू सी दिस आई वॉन्ट टू वॉच दिस इसीलिए वो कथा के रूप में मैं इस मतलब ये विषय तो बहुत कठिन है नदी का जो विषय है वो कठिन है क्लासिकल डांस ऑल्सो साधना से ही आता है फिर फिर भी मैं इसको अगर कथा में बांध के आपके आपके सामने लाती हूँ तो आपके लिए वो अच्छा है और इसीलिए वो हर लोगों मतलब लोगों तक हम पहुँचना चाहते हैं दैट इज़ अवर मतलब वही हमारा मकसद है हमारा मकसद है यस yes. यही हमारा एंड दैट वाज़ द रीज़न आई मीन इट स्टार्टेड आउट विथ अ बैले टू सेलिब्रेट सोनियाज एनिवर्सरी ऑफ द क्लास दैट वाज़ हाउ इट स्टार्टेड आउट बट वी रियलाइज दैट द इम्पैक्ट दैट दिस इज गोइंग टू हैव ऑन द कॉमन पर्सन हु सीज इट वॉच इज इट आई एम श्योर इट्स गोइंग टू बी स्टोल सोल स्टरिंग सो thank you for asking again uh, prachi and may we urge you to please be our spokesperson allow us yes. to come to various places prachi we thank you very much thank you very much surely, surely not just a spokesperson i immediately spoke to my partner and uh, we want to connect on with environmental people and yes. life performance so hope covid also goes fast and i've already Correct. taken his permission uh, yes seeing just beside and where are you located uh, prachi where are you I, Uh, in thane and uh, we will connect uh, formally as well with you uh, okay. i was lucky to see this and thank you so much for taking my questions thank, thank you, you so thank, you. thank you. you thank you prachi uh, i will answer the extended version of prachi's question uh, uh, because why scientific community is unable to uh, reach out to this and this is very important for us as wetlands for water team um scientific community the uh, community has to reach out to uh, these kind of art forms if we really want to bring a change in the society why they are unable to because you need to find people who can converse their passion and profession mm. many people are doing things they are working they are not living it you have to live water yes i have been trying to live water you really have to live it correct otherwise you are doing a job you are not working with the water you are wow, not correct correct correct, correct, correct. you are not working true. by the water so this is where scientific community has to understand that first they are human beings they are also living they are not doing a service to anybody they have to serve first themselves 70 80% of water inside here they have to work with you because we will be merged one day somewhere in this soil and in this water so we really need this kind of scientific temperament which which can connect with the society otherwise science is shelved and art is is really having difficulty reaching out to society but if you see time in memorial art has been the game changer in the society not the science i can perfect, tell you perfect perfect i i can definitely tell you that when uh, i was conceiving wetlands days for water it was very clear that we have to connect people we have to connect different forms with one point agenda we have to conserve and care our water there is no way out we are running out of water we are having water problems all over the country sam dam dand bhed jo hai na so we we are actually trying sam dam dand bhed in wetlands days for water so we have first we quiz first week of every month will be quiz so i hope uh, my quiz team is listening and next week next uh, first week we will actually have quiz on river and actually ask people to talk about river so we have not yet decided the topic of the quiz uh, second week we do scientific discussions on various aspects uh, so next week uh, we are talking about blue green infrastructure and we do have very uh, good speakers to talk about it then third week we are actually trying this soft version to shake and sensitize people where we have manjushri and sonia today and uh, fourth week we again do scientific talking because uh, we, the platform is actually to sensitize and give hope to youth and also give hope to all of us because without water we cannot do anything in future and uh, so we are trying to balance it in wetness days for water but these kind of sessions Uh, are very much required you know in these times and live performance my god i don't even remember last time when we saw live performance you know and that to talking about water and rightly mentioned by sonia when the moment people hear about um, kathak and bharatnatyam we have this 
naive understanding that I have to know Kathak to enjoy Kathak. And I think unless and until we enjoy Kathak, how do we know and learn? You know, so some Correct. kind of, you know, if you, if you accept yourself as water, you are already open. You are accommodating. You are embracing people. And, and this is something which I think all art forms tell us. Whether it is cinema, dance, we heard Manjushri today, we saw Sonia and her team dancing. Um, in all the tunes, I was really feeling those rivers and especially because I have worked in many of these rivers, I was seeing, is she really talking about this turn of the river or that turn of the river? You know, you have to start relate. But, you know, rivers are big, they are flowing trans boundary. But if you are able to connect and if you have lived with it, you would definitely try to see through it. Okay. So I, as scientific community, you see in our wetness this the water team, we have Terry, we have uh, Chase, we have Fluxgen. Uh, even my organization, we are all doing scientific and consultancy work, but we are very much wanting to learn and reach out to people and bring it to people. These kind of aspects, our one point agenda, please take care of water. Water is most precious, we are water. And today they showed that we are water, you know? Um, we take a few more questions. So, Prachi, we have to do more work than the art community. Actually, we have to be open. Absolutely. This has to start from us scientists. Then, uh, so, and that will cause behavioral change. Yes. And we have broken the glass ceiling today. We have heard them today. <laughs> so, we are so, already you know, breaking I, it. What I'm hearing over here is that uh, the age-old... Uh, no, divide between science and art needs to be yes. really the abyss needs okay. to really shrink now we need to come to come together right very beautifully shown i can see you from very far away mansi but yes we need to kind of come together we are not uh, parallels we have to actually come together yes. and form a team and make like i say leverage science to show the art and use i uh, take the art to show the science in both ways i think that marriage is now imminent this point yeah. forward yeah they, uh, we are running um, ahead ex, ex, um, out of the time, but I think this beautiful moment, I hope our, uh, Sonia and Manjushri do not have issues. Uh, we would like to take a little bit more time from sure. you. And sure. there's a beautiful comment here, some thought about cleaning our rivers. How can we, I, I think that they, she also picked up some of my concerns that can we use these art forms to really... Uh, you know, change the approach of our river and uh, you know, water bodies management. And uh, you, you may have to uh, think about it and work on it, and we can think about future association and collaboration on it. But this is what is required today in the country. Definitely, cleaning use management Because one thing is celebration. Uh, that that I remember that song from I think Nayador. Uh, that way we can yes, that way we can work on uh, yes definitely we can do we can uh, arrange some workshops we can uh, you know. Uh, definitely we can do so we will exercise it in uh, this form and yes. uh, you see um vibhu sonia is talking about collective action and we are teaching collective action so vibhu next question is from you so vibhu okay. is from one of our co team professor vibhu from this hyderabad over okay. to you, Bihu. You can may yeah. ask question yeah. or whatever you have to say. Yeah. Uh, uh, namaste. Uh, thank you so much uh, for this wonderful performance. In fact, uh, when you were talking about this Yamuna uh, story, uh, that Kaliya is the one who was polluting the river and then Krishna had to, like, in fact, and we are all, uh, we, like, as every, all, everyone in the society, like, we, uh, some industries, like, who are polluting or, like, as, as, as individuals, we also like I mean uh, uh, dispose all our waste water to the river. So we are also all Kaliyas here, and we also yes. have to be Krishna again to yes. clean that uh, river. Correct. That's a wonderful like I mean why I'm saying this because like I mean we we are all familiar with this, this stories of Kaliya Krishna from our beginning, and with these days with these animations uh, that we had, we also see how 
in the animation, uh, the watercolor changes and all. But it never stopped to mind. I am also trying to uh, read something on this river. And I also have a study now on these riverine rights. Uh, you know, that's precisely was... the point that, uh, sorry, I'm just interrupting you because yes. I, I remember from what you've said, this is exactly the point that Sonia has been trying to bring through that, that, yes. you know, uh, every river, I, I mean, I said that even when I spoke, that every river loves you unconditionally. You, exactly. She sees you as her Krishna. Right. Whether it's you, it's me, or it's a little child, she loves us unconditionally and she just gives herself up to you. Now then doesn't it become our responsibility to take care of her? That yes. is the storyline behind this entire big story. And rather that's the lesson behind this, this entire story. Sorry, yeah. please continue. Yeah, wonderful. Uh, this is why I wanted to uh, say. So, see, and also I think uh, our culture, uh, like or whatever that we uh, get to know about our tradition, folklores, we uh, we already personified rivers. Like I mean, when we think about like I mean, I when I traveled in uh, Upper Himalayas, uh, Uttarakhand, and like and all several other, in fact, all districts in in Uttarakhand uh, that the Ganga and uh, other tributaries of Ganga passes through, nobody calls these rivers by names. Like I'm from Odisha. We always, the Mahanadi, we call it always Mahanadi. But people in the upper Himalayas, they like when they have to refer to Ganga, they call it Maya, oh. right? So oh. this this whole, uh, this river as a resource or as a resource system or as a water body is like, I mean, doesn't really exist. I mean, people consider them as like I mean, somebody as a personified. We have deified it, like, I mean, some, like, I mean, that's a different thing. But so, so these dance forms actually, like, I mean, as, as Mansi already uh, told, when, when you were narrating the story of Yamuna, uh, sorry, uh, Narmada, like, we got a feeling as if, like, this river is flowing, like, I'm, like and it, it, is, it is a living being. So this is a wonderful uh, dance form. Like, I mean, I also wish, uh, like, I mean, Prachi has already said this, um, uh, like, expressed uh, that interest. Like, we'll certainly look for opportunities to, like, I mean, have you coming to our city and, uh, like, I mean, uh, talking about this this is this is really sure wonderful actually Thank go so on much. banks of rivers and perform there uh, yes. yeah <laughs> yes yes yeah. I, I thank you so much to, yeah thank you bibu I, I will also try that we actually perform on yamuna i am trying to initiate some activity there actually from, from this idea i'm getting an idea why don't we try and see if we can take this to every river that it is it that is featured Absolutely. in this so we go and perform Absolutely. this ballet at the bank of every river that has featured in proposal Manjushri, you and we can already write a proposal you are thinking then we i am already dreaming it we, as yeah. and Pajia is also there so we are already three full brighters sitting in this hall so we, we can definitely do this we'll do importantly it. um i think uh Bibu has already raised it and you both already showcased it um I would wish an army of people, not army in the negative sense, but in the positive sense. If, if in our lifetime, if we can really make this river, ponds and lakes, give them the identity of a living being as it is done in Australia, in Canada, in uh, uh, New Zealand, I am willing to fight for my life about it, for the rest of my life. Because okay. art form will be very important tool to showcase that why river is not an infrastructure but a life ah. you know we do not have that status given to water bodies in this country so i anyway i personally have dedicated my life to water but this, this is not a solo fight this is a journey which we have to do together as and i keep mentioning that water is connecting people and it is very blessing big blessing that we are so many people in water and we are just trying to bring them together. Can we do something together to give identity to the rivers and ponds of this country and make the constitution, I mean, push the constitution, government of India, Supreme Court to give them the identity of a living being. I think if that can be done, we have lived our life. At least I have lived my life fully. Lovely. I will, wow, I will be very wow. honest on I mean, that. You know? That's wow. great. And we, we have to work towards it. This is just a baby step. Uh, uh, there are a lot of legal steps and all, but more and more people joining. I think uh, we just need your consents and we can make a movement about it. Give them status of life. If river is not life, then I am not living. It is as simple as that. Yeah, but...
to uh, why why is not my country accepting rivers and ponds as living? Why are they seeing them as infrastructure to only take water? So uh, I really want your support, all of you here, but definitely star powers like you people, and we already have a big star power in the wetness base for water. So we are connecting and expanding and expanding. So someday we are going to, at least in our lifetime, we are going to give our rivers and ponds and lakes a living status in this country. And uh, I think uh, we should work towards it. And uh, Dibhu already mentioned, and this uh, director, uh, Professor Asim Prakash was also here today uh, watching you guys perform. So I'm really hoping something bigger comes out of this show today and even carry people are here. Uh, so we will work towards it and uh, we will definitely uh, bring more of you to different cities, but also more of you to uh, our uh, sessions. So if you have any other uh, uh, stars and artists who can really touch people's heart to change people's perception and understanding of water, third week of every month is dedicated to sensitize people, to make people more sensible towards water. So please tell us, uh, we are always open and we would love to have you people again and again and again. And last, my I have lost all my questions in emotion. Can I learn a little bit of the music from both of you? I will <laughs> sure, make a sure, sure. personal application for it. I'm going of to course. make a personal application to do some, uh, some summer Absolutely. school for Accepted. Students. Except most welcome for guys uh, is now reaching out to uh, students across the globe so you are most senior welcome citizen, you're right, right here senior and citizen. i'm also a senior citizen most senior. especially what <laughs> senior citizen mansi <laughs> okay i think uh, i don't see questions uh, and hand raised but uh, this is a wonderful moment to uh, bring uh, an end to the session today i just don't feel like leaving you guys here uh, out of the screen to be honest uh, but we have to st stop at some point. So thank you very much, Sonia. And thank you so much, Manjushri. Thank you and so much. thanks my entire Wetness Days for Water team. This has been a great, great day and evening for all of us. And all, some of my students are also here and friends. Thank you to all of you. Stay connected with water. Thank you, you Matsi. Thank you. I would like to just quickly pan the camera, please, to the... Uh, the team, team uh, and just a round of quick round of applause for the technical team the students just a yes. quick quick uh please, please. Pan. so uh, however Thank you can you. do it uh everybody how would you uh camera on camera i just want to show everybody this entire beautiful yes, please. Please show set of people that. who are in it Naita, ha, camera on karta hai ka? Aay, kela? Zaa, zaa, zaa. Zaa, tumi zaa. Yes, wow. Yes. I will also make yes. a picture here. Thank you, presenters, for joining us today and enlightening us with your wisdom. Also, thank you, all the participants, for joining us and making the session interactive. Besides walking and talking water worries and wisdoms collectively, we see this as a platform to cross connect and expand our network and explore possible collaborations. We are also making notes to publish both scientific and non-scientific work. Here is a glimpse of some of our writings. You may reach us through email, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and also look at our website, www.w4w.in. We look forward to your suggestions and comments to make the series more meaningful and engaging. And meanwhile, we hope that you appreciate today's session. We represent Tata Institute of Social Sciences, Hyderabad, Terry School of Advanced Studies, New Delhi, Environmental Design Consultants, Ahmedabad, Fluxgen Sustainable Technologies, Bengaluru, Counterview, and we are supported by Vicky's Water Resources Council. We truly appreciate your support and encouragement in conducting this series, and we hope that you will stay tuned with us through our social media platforms and our website, and you will write to us at our email IDs.